to match the floor. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, so my name is Ava. I'm 21. I've just graduated from the University of Cambridge. Woo! Thank you very much. Completely unemployed. No, I can't say, thank you very much. Fellow unemployed in the so. No, I can't say I fitted in very well to Cambridge, though. I was treated a bit like a David Attenborough case study for the entirety of the impoverished North. <laughs> I remember in, in Freshers Week in particular, I remember being in like the Great Hall and it's proper like Harry Potter, like big long tables, big high ceilings. And I wanted to make mates. So I, I turned to this girl next to me, I said, I, you know, nice to meet you, I'm Ava. And she says, she turns to me and she goes, hello, <laughs> I'm Ophelia. <laughs> And I thought she was having me on. <laughs> but I was like, all right, nice, nice. Like, like the one who goes mad and dies in Hamlet. Yeah, okay, very nice. <laughs> so I tried the girl next to me and she says, hello, I'm Virginia. <laughs> and I was like, right, like, like Virginia Woolf? And she's like, yes. I was like, right, okay. So I tried the fella opposite me and he said, hello. <laughs> I'm Caspar. <laughs> and I was like, sick, I like that one, like Caspar the Friendly Ghost. And he's like, no. I was like, all right, okay. But I sat there and I sat there with Ophelia and Virginia and Caspar <laughs> while they talked about their gap year. <laughs> no, yeah, I can't really take the mick out of like posh people's names, so like coming from Liverpool, like we've got some absolute corkers. Like I had a girl in my school in Everton called Sambuca. <laughs> Sambuca. Like the Italian liquor. Oh, yeah, and in, in Liverpool as well, one name is enough for us. You know, we've got loads of double barrel names like Sharon Louise, Mary Jane. You know, you've got, and I had this girl in my school who had a triple barrel name. She had three names and I was dead jealous. I thought she was dead cool. So I went home to my mum, I was like, this girl, she's got, she's got three names, why have I only got one? And she says, well, well what's she called? And I says, Evertonian. <laughs> Imagine that discussion, like the delivery suites. <laughs> the little, little baby comes out and the dad's like, oh, I do, oh, I just do, oh, I do, thank you. Oh, I've got a sick idea. <laughs> No, no, Cambridge, no, it is this, Cambridge is a strange one as well, especially dating in Cambridge. I had to have no Tories in my Tinder bio because it's Cambridge, which I thought would be like a good deterrent, but it turns out like completely up the economy. They thought they could me as well. <laughs> but now I had this, this one guy, his first message to me was, um, I bet I can seduce you out of your socialism. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was actually quite like to see how he'd do that. Like, what was he going to say? He's going to be like, hmm, depriving children of free school meals in a global pandemic. And I'd be like, oh, that's hot. That's <laughs> actually really hot. You know, like, shagging a dead pig in front of all your mates. I wish I was the pig. I wish I was the pig. Oh. No, I, I could never be a Tory, though. You know, I was raised, like, culturally, like, Irish, Irish Liverpool Catholic, you know, like treat others how you wish to be treated and all that. And I went to like Catholic primary and secondary school. Did anyone else do that? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? <laughs> God, you sound rather happy for it. Pretty <laughs> <laughs> traumatised. <laughs> but they did, they had, did they have good hymns in your school? Whoever said that? Yeah. Lots yeah, of them. I oh, love them. Love, yeah, yeah, love the hymns. Yeah, they have good ones, don't they? Did you remember like, shine, Jesus, shine. That was a good one, wasn't it? Oh, we had what they pulled out the big guns for the crucifixion though, didn't they? Does anyone remember Lord of the Dance? Where it goes like dance there, wherever you may be, da, 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 da. And it's good, it's perfect for wide-eyed little chirpy little school children, isn't it? All in assembly, you know, watching the lyrics on the screen. Until it gets to one of the verses where it goes. I danced on the Sabbath and cured the lame. The holy people said it was a shame. They whipped and they stripped and they hung him on high and left him there on a cross to die. <laughs> Five-year-olds were singing about whipping and stripping Jesus. 
no wonder I'm kinky now. <laughs> and then I went over to my mum and I said, I think this might be a bit inappropriate for our age group. And you know, I was right. But they did have some other good ones. One in particular they did around Lent. And they came up with this one themselves. They did it to a... Um, does everyone know the beat to We Will Rock You? The boom. Can we get it going? The boom, boom. Jesus was a cool dude. 40 days with no food. Lived his life by the golden rule. He had mud on his face. Amazing grace. Spread his love all over the place. We will, we will praise him. <laughs> yeah, you've got a bloody love for Catholics. All right. I've been Ava Carroll. I have a fantastic fringe. It was lovely to see you all. Woo!